In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can find the cause of a slow simulation. We have a model of a hydraulic jack. There are times when we can see that the simulation proceeds very slowly. We know that there are elements in our model that are causing the simulation to take very small steps, but we're having a hard time finding them. We're going to use Simscape zero-crossing statistics to locate these elements. When you enable Simscape logging, you can also log simulation statistics. This records information about which blocks create zero-crossings and how many. Using this information, we can identify problems in our model and resolve them so that the simulation runs smoothly. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. We have our scissor jack modeled in sim mechanics. Our hydraulic system is modeled using Simscape. We also have an electrical servo motor and an analog circuit modeled using Simscape elements. During simulation, we can see that there are times when the simulation goes very slowly. Around 4 seconds, the simulation crawls, and then around 10 seconds, we can see that it goes slowly again. We would like to figure out which elements in this model are causing this problem. To do that, we go to Model Configuration Parameters. Under the Simscape pane, we enable logging of simulation data and enable the logging of simulation statistics. When we do this, this creates a variable in our workspace called Simlog. The Simlog variable saves the zero-crossing statistics. If we use the command SSC print ZCS simlog, we'll see which elements created zero crossings, and it's sorted um, so that we can see which ones created the most. We can see that during the course of simulation, 329 zero crossings were created in all, and the hard stop alone was, was responsible for nearly all of them. This is a likely candidate for a component that is causing the simulation to take small steps. The other tool that we can use is SSC Explore. With SSC Explorer, we can parse the data saved in the simlog structure and figure out which elements are causing the zero crossings and when. So if we go to the custom actuator hard stop, this is the element that we saw was creating most of the zero crossings. And we can see that many zero crossings are being created around 4 seconds and then again at 10 seconds. So it's very likely that this is the element that is causing our simulation to go slowly. If we click on the zero crossing itself, we can see that we get a link to the source code and actually a specific location in the source code where the zero crossing is being created. Here we can see that these are the equations that handle what happens when the piston reaches its end of travel. And we can see that there are stiffness and damping parameters that affect the behavior of this component. If we go to the model itself and look at the hard stop, we can see that the parameter values are set very stiffly. We have 1e to the 9 for the, for the stiffness, and that's extremely high. If we look at the documentation, um, a much lower value is recommended. We'll back this off to 1e to the 8 and try it again. So we'll go back to the top level, open our scope, and run the simulation. Here we can see that we're still pausing, but it is going a bit faster. So we'll back off the stiffness on the hard stop a bit further. and rerun the simulation. Here we can see that the simulation is now running much faster. If we go back to the command window and rerun print ZCS, we can see that now we're only generating 23 zero crossings and the hard stop is only generating a, generating a few. So we can see that we have used these two commands in order to identify a bad parameter value in our model. These two functions, SSC Print ZCS and SSC Explore, are available on MATLAB Central. SSC Print ZCS is the one that we use to identify components in the model that are generating the most zero crossings, and SSC Explore is the, is the viewer that we used with the link directly to the source code to help us figure out how to modify our model. If you go to MATLAB Central and search for Simscape Simulation Results Explorer, you'll find it. And again, this is how you turn on the data logging statistics. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can use Simscape logging to find the cause of slow simulations.